The United States is seeking to extradite a former U.S. Marine from Australia who was arrested there for allegedly providing aircraft carrier training to Chinese military pilots. An indictment unsealed by a U.S. court earlier accuses Daniel Duggan of breaking U.S. arms control law and alleges he provided military training to Chinese military pilots through a South African flight school in 2010 and 2012 when he was a U.S. citizen. Allegations say Duggan evaluated the Chinese trainees and instructed them in landing on aircraft carriers. Duggan's lawyer Dennis Morales on Friday called those charges political and that Australia should reject extradition because it does not have a similar law. These charges clearly are political in nature and that in and of itself would be sufficient in front of a hearing if the matter went that far to allow a magistrate to find Mr Duggan ineligible for surrender. We have directly written to the Attorney General and we have put him on notice squarely and fairly that in the event that he is to accept this extradition request, he will be bringing or risks bringing the administration of justice in Australia to disrepute. Australia has a bilateral extradition treaty with the United States and the country's Attorney General must decide on the extradition request by December 25th. Duggan's lawyer also claimed his client faced inhumane treatment in custody and was reportedly refused medical treatment by Australian authorities. The pilot was arrested in a rural Australian town in October after returning from China. He's now an Australian citizen after renouncing his US citizenship in 2017. Days before Duggan was detained, Britain announced a crackdown on its own ex-military pilots who were providing training courses for Chinese pilots at the same South African flying school Duggan had worked at.